In the early 2000s, the U.S. Navy set out to make history by creating the first carrier-based unmanned aircraft. This journey began with the Pegasus Project, where they collaborated with partners to craft the remarkable Northrop Grumman X-47B, a drone as large as a strike fighter. As the 2010s unfolded, the X-47B underwent rigorous testing, proving that the concept was not just a dream, but a reality. The drone showcased its reliability, raising excitement among people who questioned whether this advanced technology was on the cutting edge or ahead of its time. Let's delve into the incredible story of the X-47B. Proof of Concept Before the 2000s, the U.S. Navy wasn't too interested in making a combat-ready drone, especially one for aircraft carriers. But then they teamed up with the Air Force, Boeing, and Northrop Grumman in a program led by DARPA to find a solution that could work for both services. They needed a drone that could take off and land on a carrier deck, connect with command systems, and handle the electromagnetic interference on a carrier. It also had to withstand the corrosive effects of salt water. In early 2001, they gave Northrop Grumman a contract to create a demonstrator called the X-47 Pegasus. It looked like a simple black arrowhead, had specific features, and was powered by a single Pratt & Whitney Canada engine. Even though the flight test didn't involve dropping weapons, the Pegasus had two bays to carry a dummy bomb for practice and was testing technologies for landing on a carrier deck. The joint project ended in 2006, and each service went their own way. The Navy then chose Northrop Grumman's proposal for further development. Consistency After the proof-of-concept demonstration, a full-size technology showing UCAV was developed. The X-47B would also have a full weapons bay to carry current missiles, and it would be exactly the same size and weight as the anticipated operational aircraft to conduct more realistic tests. It took over 10 years for the Maritime Service to complete the project as part of the X-47 plan. The Air Vehicle 1 prototype was finished and launched at Palmdale, California in late 2008, but further work was required because of the intricacy of its software. The aircraft completed active towed taxi experiments a year later, but it wasn't until early 2010 that it attempted self-propelling taxiing. Former flights began later than expected, with the first taking place in early 2011 at Edwards Air Force Base. However, the maiden flight in cruise configuration with the landing gear retracted would not occur until the fall. Meanwhile, the second demonstrator, AV-2, made its first flight at the end of the same year. Although two demonstrators were initially scheduled to undergo a three-year test program, their performance was so constant that preliminary testing was completed after only 16 flights. After a pause, the Navy continued testing the drones at sea, specifically launching them from and recovering them onto carriers. They also experimented with autonomous in-flight refueling. Later, the models were upgraded with equipment and software for aerial refueling. Importantly, these drones were not equipped with weapons. Then, as the test crew worked to refine the remote control procedures necessary for proper regular tasks, similar to those of a pilot aircraft, the engineer's most major issue became combating the corrosive effects of the marine environment on the vehicle's exposed surfaces. In early 2012, the business developed a wearable remote control device that allowed ground operators to physically move the drone about the deck. The model then started testing for high-intensity electromagnetic interference midway through the year. When their various radars and systems are activated, aircraft carriers create one of the most complicated electromagnetic environments on any surface ship. The X-47B began carrier-based assessments aboard the USS Harry S. Truman in November, and in less than a month, the prototype successfully completed the first at-sea test phase. Fortunately, the aircraft demonstrated compatibility with the carrier's flight deck, hangar bays, and communication equipment. The X-47B made history in the summer of 2013, when it successfully made an arrested landing on a mock carrier deck at Patuxent River, Maryland. A few days later, it launched from USS George H. W. Bush, the first drone to do so. This launch marked a significant milestone in drone development. The UAV was successfully piloted from the Chesapeake Bay to Naval Air Station, Patuxent River, by a second pilot after it had been launched. Subsequently, it demonstrated the ability to execute touch-and-go landings and take off from the deck while moving forward. The program's goal of developing the first carrier operational drone was further advanced by the X-47B, 
which also carried out the first UAV arrested landing on a carrier at sea. On the third attempt, though, the model encountered a technical problem and was sent to the Wallops Flight Facility in Virginia. After the failure of one of its three navigational subsystems, the operator was notified by the other two, who took the appropriate action to abandon the landing attempt. The accident ultimately demonstrated the drone's dependability and independence. A true flying wing. Similar to several other well-known drones worldwide, the gadget's design incorporated a distinct triangle form. Furthermore, the aircraft resembled the Northrop Grumman B-2 Spirit stealth bomber in that it didn't seem to have any visible vertical surfaces, indicating that it was a real flying wing. Regarding its propulsion system, a lone Pratt & Whitney F100-220U turbofan engine was hidden inside the fuselage. The exhaust exited via a specially made port at the back, while the engine aspirated through a shallow duct along the forward spine. Clearly, the lack of a pilot in a standard canopy allowed for enormous interior storage, which could be utilized to carry specialized mission equipment, weapons, and fuel reserves, as well as extra avionics and subsystems. Production units would be equipped with two internal weapon bays, similar to the Lockheed F-22 and F-35 fighters, with a capacity of 4,500 pounds of ordnance, mostly guided munitions. For the drone to work on carriers, it had to have special features. It needed wings that could fold for simple storage, a strong undercarriage with a hook to help with landings, and protection against corrosion from its challenging surroundings. The X-47B's undercarriage would be tucked away and had two main legs with one wheel each and a nose leg with two wheels. Capabilities The drone's flying system operates autonomously with navigation handled by a hybrid, vision-based global positioning system. Meanwhile, its flight route is pre-programmed and its functions under the direction of a mission controller. The gadget has a 62-foot wingspan, which is less than half when contracted, a length of 38 feet, and a height of 10.4 feet, and can attain a cruising speed of 685 miles per hour, or a high subsonic speed of around 0.45 Mach. Additionally, its operational range surpasses 2,100 nautical miles. Similarly, the X-47B achieved a ceiling of around 40,000 feet. The drone was also fitted with electro-optics, infrared, synthetic aperture radar, inverse SAR, ground-moving target indicator, electronic support measures and maritime moving target indicator sensors, while its airframe and internal systems eventually incorporated stealth characteristics or low observable relevant requirements. Too close to the sun. The UCASD program proved that it was costing $813 million to deploy drones on an aircraft carrier. By spring of 2015, the fighter-sized drone managed to demonstrate autonomous aerial refueling for the first time and a major test program was completed shortly afterwards. But after a little over a year, the Navy decided to convert earlier surveillance and strike-capable aircraft into a reconnaissance platform with limited striking capabilities. The following unmanned carrier-launched aircraft surveillance and strike project was canceled in favor of the MQ-25 Stingray Carrier-Based Aerial Refueling System, or CBARS. The X-47B turned out to be quite impressive in its performance but it did arouse some concerns regarding cost and stealth capabilities that proved insufficient for the project's purposes. While there was a plan to turn the demos into museum displays, they remained in active flight condition, enabling further evaluations and modifications. In late 2017, the X-47B served as a testbed for the MQ-25 concept. However, Northrop Grumman withdrew from competition soon after. The two UAVs are kept in a hangar and only serve for static engine maintenance that is not seen by the public. However, the technology and know-how accrued from such a remarkably resounding initiative gained worldwide recognition and awards, which include being cited with Aviation Week's 57th Annual Laureate Award for extraordinary achievements in both aerodynamics and gas propulsion, as well as Collier Trophy of Excellence in Aeronautic Technologies by National. In addition, the heritage of X-47B was transferred to X-47C which might bring back dignity for its predecessor in case it meets stealth requirements by the Navy. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe to our channel for updates on the latest technology and military advances. Don't forget to turn on the notifications bell to be the first to know about our new videos. Stay tuned.